Somebody asked me yesterday if I were to be born again into the world as a DPD survivor, who would I be and what would my perks be? It's such a good question. It's hard to really answer. But after thinking about it, I have come up with a couple of answers. I would be Jeff to start. Jeff is the survivor that most resembles me in my real life. Um, his current outfit, all bloody and dirty, is where I'm going to start. This would be what I would wear in my childhood, just dirty outside all the time. I'd come with no item. I'd have no item because I wouldn't really care about a flashlight or a toolbox or a med kit or anything like that. To start, my first perk for this build would be balance landing. Um, staggered duration from falling is primarily where I'm going with this. I grew up out in the country, so it was nothing for us to be kind of climbing trees, building tree forts, kind of jumping from things that we really shouldn't have. Um, background player, so when the killer picks up another survivor, background player activates. Um, I chose this perk because really, you know, when one of your siblings or a friend of yours gets in trouble with your parent or their parents, um, you just do whatever you can to, to stay in the background and not be seen. Um, collective stealth from uh, teamwork here. No scratch marks for the you plus one. We all grew up having that partner of in crime that we would do everything with. It's more of a nod to that. You just sticking with, with your kind of ride or die. Adrenaline is going to be the perk to round it all out. As a kid, you always have that second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth wind. So no matter what's going on, if you've been out playing all day, you always have energy to do more. Leading into the second build, um, this is going to be more your teenage years. Maybe early adulthood, depending on your age, whatever you want to do here. I'm going to go with like teenage high school years for this one. Um, I'm going to bring a flashlight with me, uh, mainly because when I was a teenager, I really liked to be kind of in the spotlight, have some attention on me like every teenager did. Um, the first perk is going to be to bite the bullet. You plus one make no kind of grunts of pain when you're injured. Um, which is also part of the Hardened here. They both kind of apply to the same. The titles, just the name for, for them helps uh, being picked. Um, I did sports a lot. You really didn't want to tell anybody that you were injured. You didn't want to make any noise or kind of complain when you were hurt. Ne definitely never wanted to scream. Um... That leads into the overcome. You know, our bodies were a lot stronger then. We could overcome any injury and just keep going or get that second wind and just push a little further. Um, and then decisive strike is going to be rounding this one out. Uh, I picked decisive strike because when you're a teenager, if somebody comes at you with kind of constructive criticism, anything like that, you're just going to strike back. I don't care who you are. You're not going to like it. You're going to say something back. You want to get that last word in, and that's where decisive strike comes in. Um, That leads me to the final build. This is going to be who you are today, kind of what you've experienced Things that relate to you, hobbies, your career, um, anything 
anything along those lines. Something that better describes you. Um, uh, my, for my item, I'm going to go with a med kit. Uh, if you guys don't know, I have a long standing career in EMS and healthcare. So that's kind of the med kit, which is going to make sense with all the following ones botany knowledge, my healing speed is increased. You slow down bleeding. Um, that's just a nod to what I've done with my life up until this point. For the people. You're going to sacrifice yourself to save someone else. It's a hard concept to, to really think about in real life. You say that you want to do that, but it's really hard to actually do that. And it really takes a toll on you, which kind of goes into the head on. Um, you, can, you can only sacrifice yourself for others so many times until it's kind of mentally going to weigh on you. And what do you do when you're just in a bad headspace? You're going to hide. You're hiding in a locker. And when somebody comes to try to get you out of that locker, what are you going to do? You're going to hit back. And that's your head on. Um, the final perk is going to be your empathetic connection. Um, really, it's more of the title for the perk here. Um, and it ties back to these other ones that we started with really you're going to be there to keep people calm they're going to come to you if they're hurt mentally physically you're going to help to heal them this leads to you if you woke up tomorrow and you were a dbd survivor living in the world who would you choose who reflects upon who you are what are your four perks going to be? What item are you going to bring? Feel free to do one build. Tell me about it. Do all three like I did. Come up with your own rules. Thanks for watching.